Hey guys, it's Love My Anime, and this is a react video. And it's not a fairy tale react video. I will get on to that soon because I do want to finish up. I do want to see the last episode, even though at the same time I kind of don't want to see the last episode because. Oh man, it's just like. In this video, I will be reacting to a 20 minute exclusive fairy tale gameplay so yes it is still a fairy tale video not an episode but a gameplay of the new fairy tale game that is coming out soon and i am so psyched about that so we're just going to watch i'm gonna watch i'm going to react i'm gonna see just what this game is all about and well without further ado let's get into it good morning everyone welcome to day four the final day of EGX 2019 it's gone so quickly it's gone so quickly this year but we still have a very exciting day of streams coming your way and okay. I'm delighted to be joined on stage this morning this by like Nathan from Chloe Tecmo. Pretty Hello. awesome that it's so <laughs> national. Nathan, what are you going to be showing us this morning? <laughs> we're showing the new anime game we're working on, Fairy Tale, and we've got a quick trailer too, guys. Fairy Tale. Oh my god, I'm way too excited for this. <laughs> way too excited. Ah, uh, yes. The trailer, yup, I remember that. Oh man. Okay, so give me more. Well, there's a look at the trailer, and but now we've got actual gameplay of Fairy Tail. Oh my god, the first yes. I'm showing it off in English, actually, worldwide. Amazing. So, yeah. Oh, so you are the control oh, station. Oh. I am. So Fairy Tail takes place uh, in a magical world called the Kingdom of Fior. And in Fior, there's tons of magical guilds which are fighting to be the supreme. Oh, well, I, I think it's more right, pronounced as Fiore. Right, or at least they that's how I always pronounce it. The world. But they're trying to fight for family oh my and God, honor there's and Ursa. be the number one guild in this region. Oh. Uh, where this build takes place God, is I hope Ursa is playable. Uh, after a key event in the story. Uh, and they go to an island called <coughs> Tendril Island. They have a big battle and they go missing for seven years. Right. Sadly, in this time, the guild loses its fame. It goes down to the lowest <coughs> rank and they lose their guild house. Ah, okay. And suddenly, seven years later, these guys all show up again and realize that actually they don't have their, their guild anymore. So we're going to start there. So it's up to you to build them back up. We've got to raise the bank up back to S rank, the highest rank of guild can be. Oh, so, wait, so is this no during the Grand this Magic this is, uh, Games? Based around uh, an anime series. Yes, it's a really long running anime series. It ended in October this year, actually. Right. So it's an anime and manga by Hiro Mashima. And it's been going for about five, six years now. So it's a, it's Hero a running one. Right? I'm it's sorry, just kind of adventure. The, his, the way he pronounces yeah, yeah. his yeah. name would kind of make me chuckle. We'll have a look at uh, what's changed chuckle. over the years. So you can see it's a bit run down. We've got, we've not got many tables. Oh my no god, you can actually the see the inside down. of the <laughs> guild! <laughs> oh! In seven years, we've been assumed dead at this point. Seven oh years my god! They couldn't find our bodies, but we've been assumed dead. Right. Uh, and then we suddenly arrive one day, out of the blue. So the main crew of Fairy Tale follows the uh, pink haired guy you'll see at the beginning, Matsu Dragnail. He is a fire dragon slayer magician. And this is going to be the main person you play as. A magician? Yeah. We'll introduce some more of the guild more later. More of a wizard than a magician. The more of the guild are going to be in this demo today. So. Okay, so it's the seven year right. gap. So That's where the game starts. Where we've got to raise okay. our guild rank. We're ranked D at the moment. We're going to try to get to rank C today and see if right. we can okay. get back a little bit up the ranks. Okay, so fans of uh, the anime might recognize so, some of the characters in the guild. Oh my god, you can act, you can actually move around in the guild, and you can talk to people? 
it's uh it's holy like crap you he's actually kind of he's actually moving around we're not gonna get the high rank oh mission. my so god these, these epic quests oh and my we're god we're gonna go save mail from a dog mage uh, a dog mage guild these are kind of the bad guys of the region they don't follow the rules of the government these guys have robbed the post office right so we've got to go and make sure they know what they're doing go on jobs uh, too uh, so the volunteer girl is Lucy, she's a celestial mage, she can use uh, special keys to unlock spirits from the celestial world okay. to come and support her in battle, and we'll, we'll use that in battle in just a little bit. Oh my god, it uh, doesn't is Aza. she is a special re-equipped magician, so she can change her armor and weaponry at any point to become more powerful, of course. Okay. Oh, oh my god. So Urza joined your team. Oh my uh, throughout god. Throughout the game you'll be able to use over 10 playable characters from Fairy Tale and other guilds in the region. So the land's full of other guilds competing to be the best. Some of them will join Fairy Tale or your party. So you can make a mashup of your favorite Fairy Tale characters. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So let's wow. go first to look at the world outside it. And how would you describe Fairy Tale in terms of genre? Are we looking at a classic JRPG here? So this is a turn-based JRPG uh, with very kind of classic kind of turn-based battle systems. So as you can see, the guild looks a bit run down right in the suburbs. Fairy Tale, when it was in its prime, was actually the center of Magnolia, of the key city in the, uh, in the region. Uh, but sadly, we've been uh, kicked out of the suburbs because we couldn't pay the rent. Uh, for seven years, we've had no money, we've had no prosperity, so we couldn't look after the original town building. Okay. So as you can see, the fairy tale, uh, oh the land goes kind of falling off the guild right like now. You can actually walk just, just around and everything. Right, so let's go off. Yeah. So you can pick up items throughout the world. This will let you upgrade certain <gasps> magic, certain equipment. Sadly, oh. in this build, we don't have any of that to show just yet. It's right. still an early oh in build as well. I cannot okay. wait to get so my hands on Magnolia. You can, you can see Magnolia in the streets. Oh my god! We can kind of walk along, go around the canal. Oh my god, it's you can you can go to Lucy's house! Oh my god! Holy crap! Yeah. Easter eggs and, and, and things they're gonna be very excited to see. But for people not. who aren't familiar, oh, excited is right! Holy shit! Yeah, you definitely can jump in. Oh and it's not my like god! Through the anime series, but fret not, you can actually catch up and learn little bits about what happened, how the characters came to be, how their relationships grew before this point. Right. So everyone can learn from fairy tale from this game. Great. Right. Awesome. Uh, fans might recognize this house. Is uh, Lucy's house? Yep. Sadly, because it's been seven years, you couldn't pay rent for seven years. Right. So we've been kicked out of the house. We can't go in just yet. This will be one of the many places you can go visit. Oh my God! You can visit, visit so Lucy's they house. The series, they uh, they just were magically kind of kept. In it's 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 like an open world um, of yeah, Magnolia. You can actually so you can actually explore. Oh my God! We can't get inside anymore. Right. So we need to get our rank up, get some money, and hopefully we can get back to uh, back to the guild. Uh, and the famous cathedral, which generally goes to a lot of destruction when the magic guilds are fighting, is also present in the series. Damn. Right, anyway, let's make it to one of the first areas we need to go to, which is the uh, the Great Plains, where we're going to go save uh, the post from the Dark Guild. Okay. Nice. So you'll have a world map where you can choose certain locations for your mission. Today we only oh have my god, I am getting so so damn excited right now. You can customize your own party, so you will be able to choose which magicians you want to take out and put in your party. And how many characters can you have in your party? Uh, you can have, I believe it's five at that time. Oh, five, yes. Wow. Okay, so let's get into battle. Go bananas. So like in Japanese, you can press the attack button, which is square on PlayStation, to get a bit of a chance to go first in battle. Right. Mm. That was oh. Fun. I didn't actually do it. Okay. So we'll do that next time. It's a turn-based okay. battle. Okay. The five characters we have today, uh, Wendy Marvel, she is a dragon slayer as well. She uses wind and air magic. Uh, she's also quite a good healer, so she can support you in battle with health as well, right? So we're going to use one of her abilities, the Sky Dragon Claw. As you can see, it's a kind of a grid system on the screen. Uh, in battle, enemies are positioned on this 3x3 three three grid. Uh, you want to okay. tactically use your magic. So this one has two, and we can place that perfectly over oh, the enemy to get in. The series is known for its really epic magic. Nice, so you're gonna nice, that that's music. awesome. Right. Uh, this is Lucy, she is the Celestial Mage. We'll use her uh, summoning ability in just a little bit when we've got a bit more strategy we can use that with. And will enemies move around this grid during the battle? Uh, so they stay in a specific grid in this way, at least, yeah. So Natsu's the main guy, he uses fire magic. You saw him in the trailer kind of do his epic magic punch. Nice. 
Thanks. That's the first we're going to get a bit more kind of... A big magic punch, up, so yes. It's a nice introduction for me, so we didn't do this morning. I was going to say, it looked like you were tested there, mate. Yeah, I was getting a bit... Just all... gone through it. <laughs> it's good. Good chance. So as you can see, we rank up as a level and our, our kind of guild rank overall. Right. And we're constantly working towards getting this guild back up to the S rank. Uh, so the story will follow kind of the three main arcs. Uh, the Tenru Island arc, which is where we started off seven years later after that. Uh, then the Grand Magic Games arc and Tartarus arcs. These are kind of three really Okay, so story it's three arcs. arcs. Wow. Full of, action, full of magic, dragons, flying cats. That all is kind of awesome dope as hell. Like so you've got your preemptive attack. Spot on. Yeah, if I got it right this time, I'm really impressed. I didn't even see the screen on it, did I? That's really sad. <laughs> okay, right. Let's get that one. Right. Hope we don't get I mean, there. I kind of wish it uh, was like, like you just attack, attack without the churn based, yeah, so the but. I'm not complaining, you know. At the same time, like you, I mean, you can walk around Magnolia, so having a, a churn-based fight is is fine. And these, like the clips are of them using their magic, their powers. That is awesome. Oh yes, yes. Show me Urza. Just, uh, really cool. Titania, uh, oh, yes, Ribbon's wheel! Fashion. Really cool. And as you can see, we're getting health and MP after every attack. It's really good. Uh, and Grey is an ice mage, so he can uh, make things with ice and use them in battle. Oh, fantastic. So we're going to use the ice mage hammer. Nice. Nicely done. Nice. Right, let's dispose of this one. Use a Lucy kit to go through. Perfect. And as you level up, you're going to be unlocking different magic abilities for the party. So you start off with a few kind of weak ones, and these will constantly progress upwards to fill more of the grid or to kind of perform different boosting abilities for the party. Okay, you leveled up to level two. That's perfect. Right. That's the new magic. So we can go test this out now on the field. So we've been filling up a gauge in the bottom right the side of the screen you might have been seeing called the Fairy Gauge. And this lets us do a really over-the-top epic ma uh, kind of magic ability. So I hope we're going to see We're, we're building up to this now. <laughs> I'm going to quickly go get this treasure chest from this guy though before we go and fight the, the bigger tough guys. So there'll be different treasure troves over the land you can go get different right. items from. Uh, Lacrima is a certain crystal in the series and this levels up magic. So you can use this to kind of custom your character's abilities. Sadly we can't show off in the build today. But this is what you kind of find across the field. You need to be making sure you search for these in the game. Okay. Okay, let's use some new magic. Okay, we're gonna heal one of the characters. They look a bit weak at the moment. Nice. They don't want to leave us alone today. Okay. Okay. So another one of Lucy's abilities, which will heal us again, is uh, her little buddy, Nikora. This is like a little snowman plushie she gets. You, okay. thought, in the series, thought it was kind of like a useless character until they realized they could do a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when you said summon snowman, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't what I was picturing. <laughs> An adorable little snowman yeah. coming to save the day. Okay, I think we can use Natsu's nice. epic ability here. A fire Dragon Roar. Nice, fire Dragon Roar. Okay, we've just unlocked like the your fairy game. tale is ready to go. Fairy We're going to use it on the next battle, just for now. Okay, just Drop a few more attacks first. Nice. So you can keep it there and it rolls over to the next battle. It'll stay in the next battle, right. yeah. So you can decide if you want to save it for like a lower level fight or use it for a bigger one. It will take out the entire grid. Right. So you want to use Amazing. it strategically. Sure. Okay. Nice. Nice. It's really important to make sure you use the grid strategically because you've obviously got a limited MP which you want to make sure you're conserving throughout battle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got a new ability for Lucy. Nice. Like with your kind of typical JRPGs, we have the uh, the weaknesses uh, of certain enemies can be manipulated, so they might be weak to fire, to wind magic, and we can use that to our advantage in battle. Sure. And it will let you know that actually on the, the option select what attacks are going to be weak and strong against certain enemies. Okay, oh, they're confused. We get an extra attack in there. Perfect. Right, let's go face some tougher enemies now. I think okay. we've, I've had a bit of a warm-up now. We can go fight some tougher ones. 
Hopefully we get some new oh, magic. Yeah. We Nancy's should. Getting ready. <laughs> there we go. Not just yet. Maybe in the next battle. Okay. Get our treasure chest. We've got a greed one lacrima. It's one of the weaker lacrimas, but we can get more powerful ones as we go through the game. And here's our quest marker. Okay. There'll be a variety of cutscenes uh, throughout the story, which uh, will kind of progress the characters along. As you can see, the blue cat is uh, the partner of Natsu. He's a flying ape species, but then he's a flying cat. A talking flying cat, which loves to eat fish. An ex Okay, right, let's go get these guys. They do not want any beat up today. He's running away. We're going to make sure they get they get their punishment for stealing the post today. Right. Oh, there's lots of them. Okay, cool. There's a lot more of these. I see why you saved your special <laughs> tag now, yeah. So, we've got up our fairy gauge. You can see the R1 over the fairy tale logo in the bottom right of the screen. We press this, we can use a magic chain attack where all of our mages come together to do a powerful attack. Oh. Oh, wow. Let's go out now. I'm going to start with Wendy. You get a bit of time to decide if you want to finish with a character or keep using a weak chain to level up that chain for the max. Keep going in. And we're going to finish off with Urza. And to finish oh, the yes. To oh, my God. That is dope as hell. No, thanks. This is still in development. It will look a little different in the final game. Okay. The fairy tale is all about the characters coming together with their bonds and their friendships to use these ultimate attacks. Right? This is really what uh, the, the devs are working on, and they're working with the all the hero series to really make sure this feels right for a fairy tale game. Nice. Nice. Wow. Right. We've used our fairy tale so game. So much now. The next lot of uh, dark mages, the traditional old way. Where have they gone? There we go. Now these guys are a lot tougher, they do have more HP, so we okay. can have to use more strategic planning of the grid to make sure we can wipe them out. Are you feeling mm. confident? Okay, uh, so bit. like, okay. there is some these strategy really to it. I'm sure they've got it in them. Okay, what's the grid looking like? We use some Sky Dragon magic. And you can see they don't take that too lightly. Uh, compared to the other enemies, which wipes out quite fast. So what's that image? specific characters you can fully customize your party to be kind of your dream team in fairy tale. Right. Dragon Roar. I wonder if we when you if like level up Ursa you can unlock more of her armor. Oh actually we can use the ice guys at the side. Actually, on Thursday, two other fairy tale members coming into the game, which sadly aren't in the build today. But uh, Kajil and Juvia, these are iron okay. or water. Oh, magicians. you've got loads of different Kajil elements. And Kajil and Juvia, nice. And can you swap party members at any point in the game? Or the customizations will require certain characters, but others you can fully choose who you wish to go. <gasps> oh my gosh, so you can it's swap characters, so Natsu is not the only default one. <laughs> Okay, that's so good. You, as you progress through the game, would you would you say it's a good idea to keep keep swapping characters around to make sure they're all leveling up and all growing? Yeah, you want to make sure they're all leveled up. Obviously, you're gonna have your favorites, so if you want to keep them in the party, just make sure the other guys are kind of being leveled up throughout the game. The good thing with fairy tales, the characters are so unique and different. Everyone's got a favorite they can really easily bring into the party, like players, which is good. Right, let's take out this guy with a traditional attack. We can save our magic gauge one more time for one more battle. Nice. Okay. Perfect. So all uh, magic abilities aren't just attack, they can also be defensive. As you see here, we've got the ice shield and armor. So these things are going to be kind of stat boosts to make sure we're protected in battle. Nice. Okay, there's one more battle left before we're going to have to go return our quest marker. Okay, so they've got the mail back safe. The Dark Guild has been told off. They've learned their lesson this time by... Uh, being uh, hit by fire, I guess, from the, the great fairy tale crew. Okay, nice. So we've done it, we got the mail back to the great flames. Job done. Nice, so I need to find a way back. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna go this way, we'll go the quicker way back. <laughs> and we'll quickly show you how the level up system works with the guild. Right, we've got a quest marker which we can give back now, so. 
just walk around. That is so awesome that you can like literally just explore and just walk around. Things from like kind of hot lava areas to other That's the rule. That's the rule. There's got to be a there's got to be a lava area. Oh, it should be right. Oh my god. There's a variety of different locations in fairy tales, so there's tons to choose from. You got a little uh, mini loading game thing which you can play and he's happy to be using a fish to hit the loading text out of the way. I do appreciate loading screens <laughs> that, are that are entertaining, yes. Okay, we're gonna fast travel back. Oh my god, I love how he just not list. just went right through that okay, NPC. Okay, so Mary Jane is our kind of quest keeper, so we're gonna go to her and submit the request. Okay. Nice. So we get some money for that which helps us uh, progress the I game. wonder if Mary Jane will be playable. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Like, imagine using her Satan soul to fight. kind of quests. Like, Lucy's obviously making a note that male's really important for everyone. We want to make sure that the world can be connected together. But these values run throughout the whole of Fairy Town, even in the over the top epic dragon fights down to saving post men from losing their boat. And Happy loves fish, so Happy always wants fish in the boat. Perfect, so now we've got a lot of Urza to join our team in future quests, and you'll unlock them throughout the story in the game. Nice. So, we've gone from rank 101 up to 99. Nice, okay, so rank C now. We are. Oh, it's Mavis! So this character here is Mavis. She's actually the original Mavis. Back in the day, right before uh, okay, uh, I shouldn't be complaining, it's just his accent. Make sure that we're doing our job properly. Which that was fairy tale. It's the first look at the game uh, before it comes out in 2020. Fantastic. Well, thank you Damn. very much. Damn. Oh my god. Yeah. That was yeah. so much like fun to but watch. Season, I yeah, wish I could uh, play it um, right it's, now. It's, 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 oh it's, man. 2020. Yes, yeah, so you can get hands on next year. We're also going to be at Paris Games Week. We're going to be a week and a half now. So if anyone god, I cannot play, wait. Come and play the game for the first time worldwide. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Nathan. Thank you very much for watching, everyone in the audience. Please stick around because. In about five minutes time, oh, thank you. <laughs> in about five minutes time, uh, Dave is going to be coming out on stage, attempting to earn his first ever platinum trophy. Um, and then throughout the rest of the day, we've got some fantastic stuff coming up. We've okay. got more dreams on the stage. Nathan's nice. going to be playing some Neo Two. We've got more features. All right. Later well, on. I guess that um, is it. Um. Wow. That was in. Incredible, like so much fun to watch. I cannot believe you can actually walk around Magnolia and I bet you can even go to like different maps around uh, around Fiore. You can switch characters of like who you want. It's not just Natsu being the default. Oh my god, I just, I could not stop smiling. I mean, you guys saw how much I was smiling the entire video. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get that game, and I'm gonna play the shit out of it. <laughs> oh man, I, I loved it. That was the best, like, gameplay ever. And the fact that it's, like, you can actually, like, move around and such, that is so awesome. Yes, I almost kind of wanted it to be where you can move the characters around and fight at the same time instead of just being like churn based. Um, you know, kind of like how uh, Skyrim is, as an example, where you have to, you know, like fight the Draugrs and it's not churn based, and if you don't block, then you'll get hit and such. Something like that. However,. I think the turn base is also kind of all right as well, so I don't got a problem with with it. I'm like the fact that you can explore Magnolia, go to Lucy's house and everything that just makes up for everything like that's what I was hoping for that you could actually like walk around and and they said that you can also like meet other guilds as well. And the fact that it takes place in the three arcs of Tenro Island, it takes place in the Grand Magic Games, which means that we'll probably be able to fight in the Grand Magic Games, and then Tenro Island as well. So that's gonna get crazy. I just know it is. So I'm so 
so excited for this game to come out and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Well, that is it my friends. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any requests on a future video you would like me to do. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button down below and the little notification bell as well so that you can know the next time I upload a video. And thank you so much to anyone who donates to my Patreon and follows me on my social medias. It means so much to me, guys. <laughs> and of course, the anime community is awesome! And I am making these videos just for you.